not is not very difficult to configure Jira Service Desk to use emails as well. So when I say use email, I basically want to talk about email request. Now when you're working with Jira Service Desk and you're trying to configure it, you have different ways to receive ticket. You can configure your portal. Portal is always there for you. You can also raise tickets on behalf of your, of your customer from within Jira. You can also use the API uh, to raise a ticket, but there is also uh, an option to configure the uh, tickets that your customers can send you by just sending an email. Now to configure this, you need to go to the email request. And if you're on uh, cloud, you are uh, a bit lucky because it will give you one email address that you can use uh, straight away. And uh, you can also configure one more custom email. Now, of, of course, uh, if you're on cloud, you can use this uh, this email address that you are provided by Atlassian. So in my case, it is, of course, one email address that I have. Now, the good thing is that when you configure this, or uh, basically you have this already, you can take a look at uh, the configurations here. Uh, I mean, if you want, you can uh, get rid of it. I'll show you how to do it. So basically, if you now take a look at uh, your request, uh, let me just show you one of the ticket here that I raised by sending an email. So if you go to your queue, I've already sent an email, printer is not working, which is always the case. So uh, the new ticket is uh, now received and uh, converted from email into this Jira issue or a ticket. Now you can see here that we have, uh, of course, the details, printer is not working and uh, the service request is the issue type um, and there is a specific request type called email request which is there for you uh, it, it is there for you already you can configure maybe something else if you want but the thing that I wanted to talk about is the log now if you go to your email request I'll show you both the logs so if you go to the project settings basically if you are trying to test it out uh, with your own email address and you want to know how it works or maybe this, this, there is some prob problem raising tickets that are coming from email you can take a look at the log file to get some idea about why it is not working for example if you look at the default email account and you click on the view log it will give you the uh, the, the the processing log and uh, it can also show you the details for example I just sent an email called printer not working and you can see here that it has been processed and uh, the status is success. So it has converted this into a ticket. If you want, you can always configure your own uh, custom email and you can then configure it to use uh, uh, one request type. Now for if you, and by the way, if you are trying to set up something for maybe your own, uh, maybe you want to test something, maybe you want to sh maybe you want to see how it works. There are services that you can use, and one such one such service that I wanted to talk about is uh, MailSpons. So basically, using this service, you can let me show you the uh, URL. So basically, it, it will it will give you one one, I and mean, you can use the free option, and uh, it will give you an account that you can use for playing so for for my for my case i have this configured already i have an account already let me just uh, configure it very quickly so i can show you how it works so let me just uh, show my face so I, so you can't see my password so what i wanted to do is i wanted to uh, configure my custom email address so I'll type in my email address, which I can get from the mail spawns uh, account. So I'll copy it. And of course, when you talk about the configuration, it is just, uh, 
you just need to provide your your pop server name or maybe imap it depends what exactly you are using and you just need to fill it up so i'll do the hat in my case i'm just uh, i'm just filling it uh, with my username and password and i'm trying to use this custom email and uh, it will probably it is so let let me show you how it looks like so when i enter my username and password it will give me the option to provide the mail server protocol and the port number so let me try if i can use the pop the the pop server so i'll copy the 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 um, pop3 url here and i can select pop here port number i'll leave it as 110 let us see if it works so when it works it will yeah so it works and uh, i can now send email to this address and and this can be converted into a jira ticket now this is something really interesting because uh, when you when you configure these things you on cloud you can have two accounts which is always always great and uh, and the good thing is that when you when you take a look at uh, your uh, when, when you take a look at the uh, the request types it will also show you that this is the uh, request type that is currently uh, being used by let us say your uh, email i mean whenever you send an email it is configured to use the uh, request type uh, which you can see here now if you go to your uh, your system and you take a look no not system but if you take a look at your product things are slightly different different on cloud so sometimes it's a bit confusing so if you go to the products and if you click on the service jira service test configuration and you click on email request you can also see the logs for each and every jira service test project now let me click on the log here as well and uh, for my it service desk i have two emails configured i can take a look look at the view log or the processing log which uh, i can see here it is uh, showing uh, correctly it is basically processing the emails so the good thing is that you can always uh, monitor this this log so this is something uh, really useful in case you want to configure jira service desk uh, to accept tickets coming from email request and uh, i wanted to show you how it how it is configured and how you can also take a look at the log i think logging logging is really important because uh, when things go wrong you need to know you need to you need to basically see where why it failed why it didn't work and you need to you just need to go to the uh, jira service desk uh, configurations and uh, email request section also for individual project email request section you also have the uh, option to take a look at the log over there as well so this is something that i wanted to share today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much